hearing things. Stand by. Okay, I'm hearing your beacon, not very strong about S2, but uh, if you want we can do it the other way around, you can peek up on me. Okay, mine's running now. Let's try that. Stand by. BK five KK, BK five KK, BK five ZD. Have copy over. BK five ZD, BK five ZD, BK five KK. Yep. No, got you. Uh, no trouble at all. A little bit of hiss on the signal, but uh, quite readable over. Yep. No worries. No, you're fine. Uh, yeah, that's, that's quite good. You know, there's five, S six on the S meter there, Major. Got that S two on the wind there, but you know, that's quite good. No, that's. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, though, you wouldn't want to get much weaker than this, which probably explains why I was, you know, couldn't hear anything up at Colpara. Um, I mean, you're, as I said, about S two, kind of a noisy signal, you know, hiss in the background. So, uh, yeah, not, uh, not super duper strong. And I would say another, um, you know, if you took another 10 dB off the signal, I probably wouldn't hear you at all, over. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's, a, it's sort of a combination of power and noise figure. And actually, all, all things factored, there's actually not a huge amount of difference between the two. I, I think I worked it with Simons that um, with the better receiver this end and the more power and, and the noise trigger of the bare mixer and all that sort of stuff is about a 6 or 7 dB difference so, uh, between the two. So, uh, yeah, that, that's uh, all things being equal. Yeah, atmospheric loss wouldn't, it wouldn't be much water loss today. We'd be at 0.3 of a dB, probably uh, 0.3 dB per kilometre, in other words, a dB per 3 kilometres, perhaps at the moment. So that, that's where you need the extra dBs in power. Yeah, <laughs> I get an odd little whistle in the background of your signal. That it's, it's going on and off, probably, you know, um, a second on, a second off, or maybe a second and a half apart. You know, it's, it's just like a little high-pitched whistle. Comes on, goes off, comes on, goes off. Um, not sure whose end is generating it, but uh, certainly odd. The other thing is, when, I, when you key your transmitter up, I can hear something before your sequencing finishes so uh, yeah I mean, I'm not sure what the order of events is but I can hear something coming out of you before the sequence is finished doing all its switching and then it jumps to uh, being fairly strong over <laughs> okay, well, what that would be is uh, the, the amplifier switched on last so it would be the, the relay being positioned and then uh, the last thing is the amplifier, so it's probably a bit of bleed through uh, through the amplifier there, right? Yeah, did not hear it that time. Um, whatever it is, it's definitely not very much, yeah. So, 